Our next talk will be on the arm-mounted weaponized platform, an anime viewer by Corbin Villa. My name is Corbin Villa, um, and I can see all the Bluetooth devices in the area, whether they're in discoverable mode or not. So um, this is my arm-mounted Bluetooth Wi-Fi sniffer. Um, I've been working on it for a few weeks now. And um, you can come up after the presentation, talk to me. You can check it out um, in person. But I'll be showing how I did it, how you can start a project like this, and um, the code of how it works. So to begin, um, just to fill you in, um, this screen is VNC'd into the Raspberry Pi, because I know it's kind of hard to see the little screen down here. So anything that shows up down here will show up on there. So to start off, I'm going to tell you how I got this project working so that when you guys have a cool project that you want to start, you'll know where to go. So first of all, um, I wanted to know how to uh, sniff Bluetooth packets. So I, I did a little bit of research, found out that the Ubertooth one is a pretty cheap solution to do that. So once I knew about that, I go. Um, I went ahead. I went to Google, and did a little bit of research. That's what you want. That's what you'll want to do first, so that you have an idea of what you're looking at, and just get a general overview of what you're doing. So, I just went to the wiki, went over some basic documentation, watched a few videos, and once I had that down, then I had knew kind of what I needed to do. So um, the next step was to be able to read the input from these buttons on the display and to be able to trigger things to happen once I have that. So I did a little bit of research on the display, uh, installed the drivers, started working um, with Python to get it so that I could read um, when button one was pressed, button two, and button three. So. That's the code, that's all that you need to be able to read what's happening when you press each button. So it's just a little bit of GPIO ports, those are the ports on the Raspberry Pi, and a few if statements to see which one's being pressed. But as you can see, once I run that script here, you can see exactly which button is being pressed. And from there, that's, um, that's how I started to connect the two projects of the Ubertooth and um, the display. So a few late nights of coding and a few Dr. Peppers later, I came out. And I coded this script. So what this does is this reads what's going on. Um, it starts up all the applications. It looks complicated. It's really not. Let me resize a little bit. Down here, you can see that's the same code that I had running before just a little bit more, um, but what this is doing, just to basically walk through, you've got a few debug things, um, then this is running a function that opens up the Bluetooth um, spectrum, it just shows a graph, so. As you can see, when you start that, you can see all of the Bluetooth communication that's going on in the area. And so using that Python script, I start up this application and it shows up on the little screen. You can walk around. Then if you hit it again, it comes up to here. It just does a little bit of automation. 
but I can see every device that's here, the manufacturers, how close it is, the MAC addresses. It's covering up part of the MAC address so we don't reveal all your information, but um, as you can see, you can see surges, you can see Fitbits, um, pretty much the names of any Bluetooth devices. It doesn't have to be in discoverable mode. Um, the Ubertooth can see it. Uh, funny thing, funny story, actually, we were walking out of here yesterday and um, it saw something called Jonathan's MacBook. And so we walked by and we saw someone out with a MacBook and we're like, hey, is this your MacBook? Or like, is your name Jonathan? Is this your MacBook? And he's like, yeah. So you can see pretty much everything in the area. Um, so that's the Bluetooth portion of it. Then the Wi-Fi portion, you hit this middle button, it closes out of that program and switches into Kismet, which is a monitoring tool. Um, just wait a second for it to connect to the server. There you go. It sees all the Wi-Fi networks. It captures those packets. And once you have that, then you'll be able to take it into Wireshark and see um, what you can get out of that information. So there's that portion of the, um, there's the Wi-Fi portion. And then the final portion is anime because priorities, right? So, and it actually, the anime doesn't show up through VNC, but as you can see, it does show up through here. You can come up and see it after the presentation. I think it's probably just with the drivers to run it, but yeah, that's how I made my arm mounted Ubertooth sniffing, Wi-Fi sniffing and uh, anime watching. Um, does anyone have any questions? Yeah.